Horseman Franklin Smith put Antley to work at the age of 14 mucking stalls, and Chris worked his way up to exercise riding. He had a special talent of being able to relax even the most unruly of horses. At the age of 17, Antley made his debut as a jockey at Pimlico Racecourse in 1983. He won his first race at the Baltimore track that November aboard Via Condenero. Within a year, he moved his tack to the New York and New Jersey circuits. In 1985, just his third year as a professional, Antley led all North American riders with 469 wins. He won a record 171 races at Monmouth Park that year and led that riding colony in wins again in 86 and 87. Antley won his first three grade one races in 1987, the Monmouth Oaks, Gazelle Handicap, and the Philip H. Island Handicap. That year, he also achieved the spectacular feat of winning a world record nine races in one day on Halloween when he had four winners in the afternoon at Aqueduct and five more that night at the Meadowlands. In 1989, Antley rode at least one winner in 64 consecutive racing days. He led the New York circuit that year with 234 wins and won the prestigious Saratoga riding title the following year. Already recognized as one of the top riders in the sport, Antley's reputation as an elite jockey continued to grow in 1991, when at the age of 23, he won the Kentucky Derby with Strike the Goal. As the 1990s progressed, Antley continued to win major races, including the Hollywood Derby, Santa Anita Handicap, Wood, and Jockey Club Gold Cup, among others. In 1999, Antley piloted former claimer Charismatic to victory in the Kentucky Derby and Preakness Stakes. At odds of 31 to 1, Charismatic was one of the longest shots on the board in the 125th running of the Derby when he defeated Menifee by a head. Antley and Charismatic again defeated the favored Menifee in the Preakness, which was the final of 127 graded stakes wins for Antley. From 1983 until he died at the age of 34 in 2000, Antley won a total of 3,480 races, including 293 stakes, and had purse earnings of over $92 million. <sighs> Welcome to the Hall of Fame, Chris. Here's Franklin Smith. Thank you all for having us here today. I just want to tell you that never in my life could I have imagined a little blonde-headed 12-year-old boy would ride a bicycle on our farm and just bring us to what we have here today. And we just all beside ourselves with you know, enjoyment and, and so proud of what Chris did in his racing career. And we just tickled to death to be here today and share this with you. And to say that he was a natural in what he did as Tom did, he was just that. To say I taught him how to ride, you don't teach someone like him how to ride. It just comes natural like all these other Hall of Fame inductees today that are jockeys. And we just tickled that he's as good, has done the things as he's done in riding and, and the, the races that he won, the stakes that he won, and the fact that he set the standard so high and raised the bar like he did in setting some of the records that he did in winning uh, nine races in a day and 64 days of at least one win a day it's just a absolute feat that raising the bar like he did to accomplish that has been incredible. And with that, I would like to say back home in a little town of Ellery, today is Chris Antley Day. And in that, our mayor, 
has declared that Chris Antler Day. We have a little town there of about 700 people, and uh, it's a, about four main roads that lead into town that come to one little stoplight in town. And right down the street from that stoplight is a little museum that has been developed over the last 25 years that depicts the, the area and the community and the agricultural uh, past of Ellery and, and the people around it and the families. And in, in that museum, which has won a number of awards, I might add, there's a room that's devoted to Chris. And in that room, there's a likeness of Chris. There's uh, pictures and articles about what he did and the derbies he won and the records he set and the accomplishments that he did in racing. And we're just proud of that. And I'll tell you, we're going to take some things back to date I had to that. And at the time, I'd like to introduce to you, all of you, uh, his mom and his wife. And if they'd come up to me. This is Shelly, and this is Natalie. And I, as a mother, would like to thank everyone here for knowing who he was, what what he was about a lot of the time, maybe not all, all the time, but he believed in each and one of you, and as a mother, all the women out there and the young gentlemen that helped him grow in this sport means the world to us, and I thank you very much. <laughs> Shelly just reminded me of a story Chris told me. His grandma used to say, Chris, you've got to let some of those other boys win sometimes. That's not nice when you win all the races. Um, I just wanted to mention something about polarity. The polarity of soaring achievements on the racetrack. Chris performed feats that may never be achieved again. And just as intensely, his actions and decisions off the track sometimes hit such depths that they became tragic. So the other polarity that I want to mention is the opposite of love and fear. Fear leads us down to a place where we judge, where we're angry, and where we want to separate ourselves. Okay. And love allows us to open to a place where we feel joy, and we can find acceptance. So I want to thank you guys for enshrining Chris in the Hall of Fame. It provides a very profound healing opportunity for our family. And you've all shown the power of what happens when we push fear aside and we, we let love win. So thank you very much. Thank you, Franklin, Shelley, mm -hmm. and Natalie.